Hey everyone, we added a few new tools to the CNC12 G-Code Backplot Graphing menu. Let's check it out. I've got a sign job loaded here, and I just hit Graph F8, and it's given me a couple travel exceeded messages. These new tools will help you figure out those messages. So what we're looking at is a top view of a large sign that's made to be cut out of a 4x8 sheet of material. And you can see now with the purple dotted line, that represents the machine travel limits. So for uh, this is obviously made for a router. So for a router, you can think of this purple line as your table. This is the work envelope of the machine that the tool can move around in. So when you get a travel limit, it exceeded message. Now you have a graphical representation. You can, you can see here we're exceeding it in both X and Y. Um, the other new tool is the white crosshair that you see. It represents where the X and Y zero location are. If you want to turn these tools on and off, I, you hit the tool button there, show tools, and you can actually turn the travel on and off and the origin on and off. They're on by default in the new CNC12 router version of software. So another cool feature of this is it also works in 3D. So if I right click and dynamically rotate, um, I can see how this G-code job is going to fit, or in this case, not fit inside of my travel limits. Also works in all the different views. So if I hit view F2, you're looking at the different views. There's the top view, and you can also look at it isometrically but how I like to do it is I start with the top view and right click and move around and then I'm scrolling in and out to uh, zoom in and out and then pan is left click and drag and you can move it around you can change the colors also of this rectangular box that's showing you your travel limits and the white crosshair in the color picker and the color picker is in the utility menu so if I fire up the color picker, you drill down through here and you'll find those colors. You can make them whatever color you want, just like you can control all the other colors inside of CNC12. So there you have it. We have two new tools to debug these travel exceeded messages. So to fix this, obviously, I just need to change the origin down there. So I could move over some and move down some. Set X, Y, come back and graph, try again, see if I get any messages. Okay, there it is, just fitting inside. Looks like I could go to the left a little bit more, just to make sure there's enough material here. Okay, let's talk about a couple of other useful new features that we've added to the G-Code Backplot graphics. Um, oh, by the way, I switched the inches here. Previously in the video, we were using millimeters. And so we've got our G-code job here, and the purple rectangle, dotted rectangle, represents the total travel, which on this machine is about 52 inches in X and 100 in Y. And there's a couple new buttons here. One is Spindle CL, which stands for Spindle Centerline. So if I click that, I get an orange crosshair, and like previously mentioned, all these colors you can change in the color picker. An orange crosshair with a little circle and dig this if I start jogging around I'm moving the machine right now the GCO backplot graphics shows you exactly where the spindle center line is which is pretty awesome so let's click on origin it's going to give us a white crosshair this is your part zero so this is the work coordinate system that this GCO job uses and that is where the part zero location is relative to machine home and on this machine machine homes in the lower left hand corner another feature we added is there's a second way to limit travel besides the total machine travel called work envelope i set up a four foot by eight foot work envelope on this machine you do that inside the part setup menu under the work coordinates menu there's a button in there called work envelope and that's where i typed in the information to tell it two inches away from home in X and Y is my lower left hand corner and then make a box 48 by 96 represented by the yellow dotted line. This enables me to see here if this G-code job is going to fit on a 4 by 8 sheet or whatever rectangle I want. And it does look like it's going to fit. 
And the cool thing about the spindle, there's a number of cool things about this, but if I wanted to reset my uh, work coordinate position, it's really nice. I can zoom way in here and I can go, okay, really where I want the work coordinate is to be right there. And we can just march over a little bit at a time. And now I could go back to the main screen and reset my zeros. You could be probing at this point. You could be using a touch plate. doesn't matter. Whatever method you want to reset your zeros. And let's check out the job. All right. So basically what I did is I just nudged it up a little bit. So right now we have the origin and the spindle being displayed, but you, we only see one crosshair because they're right on top of each other. So if I move the spindle over a little bit, let's get off of incremental, go to fast. There you go. So you can see we reset that origin right to there and move the, the whole G code relative to the four by eight work envelope. So to recap, work envelope is yellow, travel, Total travel of the machine tool is purple, spindle center line is orange, origin is white, rapids are red, and of course the tool, there's only one tool in this job. Uh, the whole, so if I click that, the whole G-code program would go away. If there's multiple tools, you'd see those as well. You can turn them off per tool. Now all this stuff uh, actually works in 3D as well. So. I can use the view just to switch to a view. Let's just switch to the looking in from the end, and you'll notice it works in Z as well. There you go. And at any point in time, I can right click and dynamically see it. And you can see where things are at. So pretty cool tools to use to debug any, any sort of um, travel limit exceeded error messages and to make sure that your parts are going to fit uh, on your material. hope that helps you out. These uh, features are all available free of charge in version CNC 12 5.2 starting with 5.20. So any version 5.2 and higher has these features that I just demonstrated. Good luck with your projects. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Purchase Centroid CNC controllers at shopcentroidcnc.com 24-7. Almost everything you see on the website is in stock, ready for immediate shipment.